Okay, so this is to show you how to adjust the oscillator on the OSC 4.7 version of the scope clock. Right now it's not oscillating, it's why we just have a dot on the screen, so it might be hard to see this, especially in this light, but on the back of the board there's P9, and that's this 300K pot, and I got that set at about 50%. For the most part, that controls the size or the gain from the oscillator, so just leave it set at 50%, somewhere around there. And then we got P10, which is just set right now. It's I've got it adjusted all the way out, one end, all the way clockwise. Sometimes it doesn't really matter which way, counterclockwise or clockwise. But if I start turning it counterclockwise, at some point it's, it might take a while because it, this particular one is a 25 turn pot. But at some point it's going to start to oscillate and the display should appear like they um, it's too far counterclockwise then you're going to get something like this where it, it'll be out of shape nothing will be round it'll flicker maybe and look really pretty bad and adjusting P9 is one way or the other usually Sometimes throws it out of oscillation, sometimes just adjusts the gain on it. But you start with that at about somewhere around 50%. And then if it looks like this, then you need to adjust P10. And in this case, I'm going to adjust it back clockwise until the segments start coming together. Like, let's see it back on the digital so we can see. Okay, so the segments like in the number two are going to start to come together like that. And then you can then adjust P9, the gain, slowly adjust that uh, clockwise until they'll, they'll start to get a little bit smoother, rounder, like so, but then they'll start to, the segments will start to come away from each other. When they start to do that, go back to P10, it's hard to see, and continue adjusting that same direction, in this case it's clockwise, until they start to smooth out a little bit more, and then you can go back and and tweak P9 a little bit more, get them a little bit rounder, and then they start to come apart a little bit more, something like that. And then, again, go back and adjust P10, and they'll start to get even better looking. So now they're starting to get pretty decent looking, pretty round, pretty smooth. The segments are coming together. So now, I don't know why it's flickering on me, but I'm going to unplug it, let it power down. It only takes a minute, actually less than a minute. Plug it back in because the firmware samples the oscillator's signal. Every time it starts up, it gets a, a more accurate reading after having adjusted it. Now we got a circle, that means it's sampling. Now we got a one, that means it's got the sample, and you can press slow set, and it'll start up. And 
even though that didn't look too hard, it can be. It just it depends, you know, on how far out of out of adjustment it is, I guess. And each one of them kind of can be a little bit different. So you can also adjust this one, this P223, the the slant. So you can adjust that to get the segments a little bit closer together if they're if they're off a little bit. It's kind of like there. I usually look at the tail on the nine and and on the six or something like that and try to get it as close to looking good on both of them as I can. Something like there. Not perfect, but that's pretty good. So that's it.